Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku. Welcome back to another What If video. This is a crossover What If. What if Goku landed in Black Clover instead of Dragon Ball? Now, I wanted to do this because Black Clover is one of my favorite series right now, and combining it with my favorite anime series of all time would be pretty interesting and entertaining for myself, and hopefully for you guys as well. I'll be doing a little bit of a summary of the Black Clover world for you guys before I begin, but I'll also be doing the inverse of this video sometime in the near future, where I'll be doing what if Asta was in Dragon Ball? And it would just be being Asta left at Grandpa Gohan's house instead of the church in Black Clover. But this is also going to be on my second channel, Broku No Hero, linked in the description below. So if you want to eventually see that video of Asta being in Dragon Ball, then go subscribe to my other channel where I cover Black Clover and My Hero Academia, and then check that out there. And also guys, please do leave a like and subscribe as well as turning on notifications if you do end up enjoying this video. So, in the Black Clover world, pretty much everyone is born with the ability to use mana, which they use to create magic. Magic is very important and used to do pretty much everything in the world. The majority of the story takes place in the Clover Kingdom, where there's a king, a wizard king, nine magic knight squads, each having a captain and many knights. When you turn 15 in this universe, you go to the Grimoire Acceptance Ceremony, where you will receive a Grimoire, a spell book, which will allow the mage to be able to use much more complex spells. In this story, we're going to do a universe swap of both characters. Both Asta and Yuno have just been abandoned at the church, but a portal opens up into the sky, sucking Asta into it, and as Asta enters the portal, Goku's Saiyan space pod shoots out and lands a few hundred feet from the church. The father of the church is surprised by this happening and looks outside. He looks down and is surprised to see a little baby in a little bed but even more surprised to see a small crater and a little pod inside of it. The father would eventually open up the pod and find a little baby Goku sitting inside of it, so he picks him up and brings him to the church. While he's extremely confused that he can't sense any mana from this little tailed baby, but he's also intrigued with them, and, I mean, he's the father, he's gonna keep him. Just like baby Asta, Goku would be very rambunctious and sporadic, so things would go pretty similar in the beginning. Although something that would need to happen here is a concussion. Goku needs a head injury or else some Magic Knight squad is going to come and absolutely slaughter him because even though Goku is a sane baby with his power level of 2, he's actually weaker than the average human and that's going to, you know, not going to be nearly strong enough. And remember, baby Asta, his kick was strong enough to knock back father and make him stumble. The father is a mage, so baby Asta is actually stronger than baby Goku, which is pretty interesting. But that wouldn't last long, until because Goku, when, once he becomes an older kid, he's going to surpass Asta. But as for Goku's head injury, he is being crazy and aggressive one day, and he sees the giant skull of the slain demon. He climbs to the top of it instinctually, as he pretends he has triumph over this being, and then after he gets to the top, he falls off and hits his head on the ground, forever turning the aggressive Kakarot into the calm-hearted Goku. Now, over the course of this, Goku would act as a normal kid. He wouldn't have mana, though, because he's not from the Black Clover universe, so he's not going to be born with mana. But he would still have basic key control, because usually Saiyans can naturally do that. Although, Goku did need to learn much of his key control in Dragon Ball Z through, you know, other ways. Goku wouldn't receive much training, but he would still be a physical phenomenon. He wasn't even trained much by Grandpa Gohan, and by the time he was 12, he had a power level of 10. And no, that's not twice as strong as the farm with the shotgun. He was able to effortlessly lift cars, had epic durability like tanking bullets, and much more. And it was also very fast. Now, he ran like, like a 5 second 100 meter dash at one point, but that's kind of like a slow outlier, because he also went to the moon and back quite quickly. Then he has other speed feats that are far faster than when he began his training with Roshi. But the original Dragon Ball was much more of a gag manga than Dragon Ball Z, or any of the other continuations which explain the inconsistencies in his scaling. But overall, I do see the story going pretty similar in this, except I don't really see Goku falling in love with Sister Lily, as Goku just isn't that type. And I do want to give just a bit of a side note. I could completely change Goku's character, because logically, Goku growing up in a small village with actually foster siblings and foster parents, that would completely change his character and the way he acts, and but that would really defeat the purpose of having Goku in this what if, because then he'd be a completely different person. So we're going to keep Goku's personality. Goku and Yuno would still have the same brotherly moment where Goku would save Yuno and stop the drunkard from stealing Yuno's pendant, which would prompt both of these two young warriors to have goals of one day becoming the Wizard King. Goku trains heavy, physically, for the five years before the beginning of the series, while Yuno does this as well. 
Goku would quickly become a much stronger and faster fighter than Asta was at the beginning of Black Clover. But this would also create a double effect, because if Yuno is training against a stronger person in Goku, he will become physically stronger, and he will also be able to test his magic more against a stronger warrior, making his mana more potent as well. So Yuno at the beginning of the series is going to be not only physically stronger than he was in the actual Black Clover, but his mana is going to be even more powerful as well. When Goku and Yuno go to the Grimoire acceptance ceremony, Yuno will get the four-leaf clover Grimoire as to everyone's surprise, and Goku will not get a Grimoire because he doesn't have any mana, and he just wasn't quite ready yet. But of course, Red Cheese Sly Ass is going to still come and try and steal the precious four-leaf clover Grimoire, and he takes Yuno off guard and has him trapped in his chain magic. Goku, with the ability to somewhat sense key and disturbances, he feels that his brother Yuno is being threatened and rushes in. Now in the anime, Asta isn't just utterly defeated by Red Chi, he actually puts up a tiny bit of a fight against his chain magic, but in this, Goku is going to be faster, stronger, and more durable than Asta was. So despite having no magic and not even much key control, he puts up an amazing fight against Revchi, breaking through his chains and even landing some hits on this rogue magic knight. But still, Goku is struggling. He hasn't had a legit fight to the death at this point, because his battles against Yuno were just training. And finally, Goku actually begins to tire out as several chains grab each of Goku's limbs, dragging him and holding him down. And Revji begins to taunt Goku. Goku began doubting himself as all he wanted to do was get his grimoire and become the Wizard King and fight strong people. But Goku gets a sudden boost of confidence in himself and he begins to raise his power. In a fit of Saiyan rage, Goku's power increases and the chains shatter around him. Revji is shocked that a mere boy with no mana has given him such trouble and has once again shattered his powerful chain magic. But Goku would rush towards Revchi before he could even react, and he knocks him back into the wall, knocking him unconscious, and he is arrested, while Yuno gets his grimoire returned to him. Even though Goku didn't get a grimoire, he's headed off to train for six months for the Magic Knight's entrance exams. Even though he doesn't have mana, he realizes that with just pure physical strength and determination, he was able to defeat a former Magic Knight, and if he trained more, he could potentially convince one of the squads to offer him an invite into their team. Over the course of these six months of training, with Goku's naturally high key as a Saiyan and him trying to pour out even an ounce of mana out of himself, he incidentally discovers Buku Jutsu, otherwise known as Flight. Goku practices his flight and adds it to his repertoire. After the six months, Goku and Yuna both head to the exams, and just like Asta, Goku would have his run-in with Yami, and Yami would be really weirded out that someone as physically as strong as Goku even existed. You could even tell Yami noticed something was different about Asta when he first met him, but it'd be even more different for Goku, who would be far stronger than Asta was. A teenage boy rivaling his power? It starts off pretty funny, as because Goku can actually fly, and because of this he can transfer it and he can actually fly on his broomstick. But many of the Magic Knight captains were like, what the hell is he doing? How is he doing this? He doesn't even have any mana, but he's flying. What is he doing? Is he cheating? They tried to figure it out, but they couldn't figure out what Goku was doing to make himself fly if he didn't have any mana and didn't even have a grimoire. He would pass that test, but he would fail pretty much every other aspect of this exam, and that is when we get to the battle portion of this exam. Now here's the thing, even with Seke holding Goku's hand and being fake throughout this entire exam, Goku wants to fight strong people. So straight up, instead of partnering with Seke for the battle, Goku challenges Yuno, the most powerful mage trying out, which makes everybody laugh. The guy with no magic who failed all but one of the tests, challenging the prodigy with the legendary four-leaf clover grimoire, but little did they know, they were about to witness the fight of their life. Goku's sheer physical power versus Yuno's amazing amount of mana. The two clash, Goku punching through Yuno's wind magic, and Yuno surrounding Goku with his wind, slowing him down. Yuno propelling himself with his wind to fly away, and Goku flying straight after him and keeping up with him. The other examinees watch in awe, surprised with the amount of mana Yuno had and his control over it, and Goku having no mana but keeping up with Yuno every step of the way. Even the captains were surprised as to what they were doing. Yami was watching Goku carefully, using his own version of Ki to try and figure out what exactly Goku was doing. Over time, the fight began to get out of hand, and eventually the captains would call off the fight, thinking that both of these two had displayed enough of their power. Finally, the examinees gathered in front of the captains and awaited their number being called. Of course, when Yuno's was called, every single captain raised their hand, and eventually he would join the Golden Dawn. 
the Golden Dawn has, had just attained the most powerful, potentially, mage in all of the Clover Kingdom, if not all of Black Clover. Meanwhile, when Goku goes out, only a single captain raises his hand, and it's Yami. Yami being able to use Ki to sense Goku's amazing power, and seeing him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yuno was enough for him to raise his hand. And none of the other captains wanted to raise their hands, because they were confused. Goku had no mana, and no grimoire. How was he supposed to be a magic knight? But Yami had still picked him. Therefore, both Goku and Yuno get to join squads and go on their own separate journey. Yuno is introduced to the Golden Dawn, and everyone is amazed but jealous of the peasant's power. Goku is introduced to the Black Bulls, and the Black Bulls are actually intrigued with him. A magic knight with no magic? Oh well, this is the Black Bulls. Goku's going to improve the entire kingdom wrong. As for Noelle, if she ever falls for Goku, she's probably going to love him even more, but hate him even more as well. But anyways, sorry for the beginning being so similar to Black Clover, but I'm going to be doing a second part of this soon, and it's going to be a lot more different than Black Clover. There's still some differences here, but really the main difference is that Goku doesn't get a grimoire, and still doesn't have any power, it's just sheer physical strength, and also having Yuno and Goku fight each other. I thought that was pretty cool. And just imagining that in my head, like, I would actually want to see that. Now, of course, not Goku in Dragon Ball Super. He would wreck Yuno, but, like, a Goku in this scenario. But also, guys, don't forget to tune in to the inverse video of this. What if Asta was in Dragon Ball on my other channel? Broku no Hero, link below. That'll be probably uploaded sometime next week. But anyways, guys, please do leave a like if you enjoyed. And also comment and subscribe. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.